You made me walk all the way home from school. I was very clear about the no sneezing policy. The kids aren't even allowed to sneeze? What kind of stupid rule is that? There are a lot of stupid rules in the Loud House, which doesn't really make sense, seeing as the parents put the kids' lives in danger regardless, so their rules are pretty stupid. Having a family this big is obviously a challenge for anyone, but some of the rules that these parents have in place will leave you thinking, hmm, I want to get out of this family. Let's go on to one of the first stupid rules on this list. The Loud House kids have to push the car when it breaks down. Mom, this is the third time Vinzil has broken down this week. What kind of rule is this? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't the parents get out of their piece of crap van and actually help push the van? Or call for help. After dinner, uh, I'll need a push to ceramics class. <gasps> you expect little children to be pushing thousands of pounds on the road? The concrete road in the middle of traffic? Has Rita Loud lost her mind? Oh my goodness, what a crazy rule. But trust me, it's gonna get worse. Take a look. Okay, class, you should have read up to chapter 12 of your world history books. Um, excuse me, did she just say world history? Um, what age are these kids? The only person smart enough to understand what she's talking about is probably Lisa, but this is still a ridiculous rule that these teachers have in their curriculum. Oh my goodness. If a former kindergartner can read the whole book this quickly, I expect all of you to do the same. And I expect you to go fluff yourself, because I'm not reading no world history book at the age of five. By tomorrow. By tomorrow. Go fluff yourself. Kids, go straight home to watch Spongebob and you know it. Not reading a world history chapter 12. Are you crazy? Let's go on to another rule that actually comes from one of the sisters. Take a look. Lincoln, enter. What the heck is Lincoln Loud knocking on? He's not even knocking on the door that's literally right in front of him. Dude, it's like one foot away from you. What kind of stupidity is this? Lincoln Loud, are you stupid or something? Knock on the door. I guess this means that Lisa Loud has a rule that you can't knock directly on her door, which is really fascinating because it makes Lincoln Loud look like a complete idiot. Let's go on to another rule. So for those of you who go on vacation with your family, you know that vacations cost a lot of money and you gotta save up. Well, guess who has to work for that money? The children. A vacation vacation, but getting here wasn't easy. In a family this big, a vacation costs a lot of money. Now this entry on the list somewhat makes sense, but still, the kids are put to work? To work? Are there any labor laws in this country or wherever the heck the Loud House takes place because, um, are the parents contributing anything to this? And you're gonna see why I put this on this list. You may think that I'm over-exaggerating. You may think that kids working teaches them discipline, but no, no, no. You're gonna see why they got scammed. All the children are working super hard, lemonade stands serving people, getting as much money as possible. But I'm telling you, they're doing all of this for a really horrible experience within this episode. And that's why I say this is a ridiculous rule that they have to work for their own money to go on a vacation at this age. But take a look at what happens next. Hungry. Honey, let's start looking for a good picnic stop. No time. We're behind schedule. The kids are hungry and the dad could not give less of a flip about it. He said, no, 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 no. We got somewhere to be. That's a rule of mine. We're not eating. This is my rule. We do not eat until we get to our destination. Can someone call the police on this guy, please? Can, can we get the police, please? Arrest him. The dad on the show is a fool. He's not feeding his children and they worked for their money. What the heck? And whenever the dad of this cartoon does cook for the children, it tastes like crap. It's not my fault. Arrest this man. Protective services, please do something. This is ridiculous. Let's take a look at another crazy rule. Can I borrow, um, Veronica tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Oh, sorry, honey. Nobody drives her but me. Apparently, he doesn't want his daughters to have any kind of freedom. Not letting them drive to their destination. I mean, come on. Can't you give them a little bit of wiggle room? They are getting at that age where they're going to have other responsibilities. Why would you not want them to use your car? Why would you not want them to have mobility? Especially when you're talking to one of the oldest sisters on the cartoon. Don't you want them to have some kind of independence? I mean, come on. This guy's acting like a complete jack butt. Dude, if you give them some independence, it would save them from walking on the street, pushing your crap car out of the middle of the road, which is dangerous. What does he want the girls to do? Does he want them to walk on the street and get hit by a car? <laughs> Ooh. 
because that's what it sounds like. I can't believe Dad won't let you drive the new van. How are we supposed to get to the mall and junk? I have a plan. These rules make absolutely no sense and they're just there just to pretend like they're being good parents when they're really not. They're just making up these rules as they go along. Case in point, when you don't let your kids have a little bit of wiggle room, they're gonna find a way to do something. Now, I'm not promoting doing anything against what your parents tell you. Of course, your parents wanna keep you safe and you should follow their rules, but still, man. So you guys remember how earlier in this video they were on vacation and the dad told them they couldn't eat until they get to their destination because he was gonna be late and he was rushing. So the kids are starving. The dad is speeding through traffic, but do you think he actually got to his destination on time? Take a look. I'm so sorry, Mr. Loud, but you missed your check-in time and we gave away your rooms. But, 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 but. So let me get this straight. You wasted everyone's time, you rushed on the road, put everyone's lives in danger, you made us starve, and when we got to the actual place, we still didn't make it on time. And the Darwin Award goes to... <laughs> Guys, let's go on to our final entry on the list. I'm telling you, this is the stupidest rule I've heard in my life. You made me walk all the way home from school. I was very clear about the no sneezing policy. God forbid anyone sneezes. If you sneeze, you're gonna have to walk home from school. You know what, I think this guy is just broke and he can't support and his car is busted up and breaking down because every single rule this dude has is weirdly surrounded around cars and vans. Like, is his van about to break down and explode or something? Like, why does everyone have to keep walking, walking, walking? They're not getting anywhere on time. He's not letting the kids drive. They break a rule that says that you can't sneeze so they have to walk home. Sneezing? Sneezing. What kind of stupidity is this? These rules are so childish. This isn't Sesame Street, dude. Anyway, we're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on. Guys, I made an animated short film. It would mean the world if you guys would just watch it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you love Encanto, I promise you, you'll love this short film called Our Drawing. I spent so much time working on this and there's a lot of references to a lot of cool movies out there like Encanto. How many of you guys like Encanto? Your boy Kolobi worked super hard. It was so hard, so expensive. But guys, please watch it if you care about animation at all. I'll drop a trailer for you on a quest to defeat artificial intelligence one woman must go against her own sister to save her art Paige Foster lived a lonely life but inside her drawings was a world that came to life experience a breathtaking tale from Kolobi productions comes an unbelievable film about one phenomenal human being our drawings